Hello, my name is Didier De Bruyne. I'm working at the Belgian Nuclear Research Center and I'm going to present you the concept of Accelerator Driven Systems or ADS, as you will see this acronym in many references. An ADS consists of an accelerator sending protons with a high energy on a spallation target, which produces neutrons. The target is situated inside a subcritical core inside a reactor. In a previous video, you have learned about the effective multiplication factor, also called Kf. In a classical reactor, we have a Kf somewhat larger than one. Safety and control rods are available to keep the fission chain stable. In an ADS, Kf is slightly lower than one, typically 0.95 to 0.97. This means that if we do not have the accelerator, the fission chain reaction will stop. The accelerator provides protons that hit with a high energy spallation target, which in turn produces the additional neutrons. The core is thus intrinsically stable and does not require any safety or control rod. The main advantage of ADS is inherent safety. A conventional nuclear reactor's fuel possesses self-regulating properties, which make this reactor safe. In addition to these physical properties, in the subcritical reactor, whenever the neutron source is turned off, the fission reaction ceases and only the decay heat remains. Many countries have started the engineering design of an ADS. Belgium is studying the Mira project with an accelerator of 600 MeV, 4 mA, a reactor of 100 MW thermal, and the spallation target being liquid lead bismuth. Japan is studying a larger ADS for the long term, with an accelerator of 1.5 GeV, 20 mA, a reactor of 800 MW thermal, the spallation target is also liquid lead bismuth. Italy, Korea and China, to name a few, have similar studies running. But the first ADS operational exists already since 2010 at the SEK in Moll with the Guinevere installation. Guinevere has been built in partnership between SEK, the French CEA and CNRS with a substantial contribution from the European Commission. ADS is a very good tool for transmutation. The next generation of nuclear reactors, the so-called generation 4, will be able to recycle their own waste. This is not the case for the present generation of nuclear reactors and even the new reactors being built today. So what should we do with all existing waste, called minor actinides, namely neptunium, americium and curium, which are high level and heat emitting? In a high flux reactor, be it a generation 4 fast reactor as presented in other videos or in an ADS, transmutation of heavy long-lived radionuclides is made possible. Both the volume of waste and the required time for disposal would be reduced. This would make deep disposal more acceptable for the public. It is indeed easier to convince the public to build a facility that should be safe for 1,000 years rather than for 1 million years. Think of the pyramids in Egypt, those are still existing. We can then envisage the combination of reactors using uranium fuel together with other reactors using a mixture of uranium and plutonium fuel. Plutonium is not a waste product, but rather a resource. And finally, we burn the remaining waste products in a dedicated facility. ADS is also well suited for a research facility, which is able to perform testing on materials and fuels for the next generation of nuclear reactors. 
the present existing facilities cannot answer all engineering questions. To summarize, an ADS has three components, accelerator, spallation target, and subcritical core. The main domain of application is research reactors and burners of radioactive waste. Thanks for your attention.